we start with something very very important something that you will be using not only in mathematics but also in physics as well as in chemistry something that is called calculus this actually comes from the word calculation and this concepts of calculus will be used everywhere in all the three subjects it is very important therefore for you to understand basic fundamentals we will start with the first building block called functions so to understand calculus you have to understand functions so what is function suppose Mahesh is a cricket coach in your school and for every one hour of training he charges rupees 100 so his charges for coaching students in the school is rupees 100 per one hour of training so naturally he will be paid according to the equation rupees 100 into number of hours he has coached the students now if we just see the payments made to him and draw a table what we see is let's say the below mentioned figures we draw a figure wherein we show the hours of training and then the payment made to Mahesh this payment will depend on number of hours put by Mahesh in coaching so if zero hours is done by Mahesh then he will be not be paid so his payment is actually dependent on number of hours so P then becomes dependent variable we call this as dependent variable and if you write hours and the payment now for one hour he will be paid 100 rupees for 1.5 hours he will be paid rupees 150 for 2 hours rupees 200 and for 5 hours obviously rupees 500 so what you get is that on the lower side you get payment or from this expression here and on the top is what we call independent variable why independent because Mahesh can put any number of hours subsequently his payment will depend on the number of hours he has put so this can also be put vertically in a different manner we see that now for every value of independent variable there is only one value of dependent variable which is the payment so there is a unique only one value from independent to the dependent so payment depending on hours put will only be one unique so if you put 6 it will be 600 if you put 7 hours you will get exactly 700 rupees and not more or less so you will not get for 7 hours two kinds of payments so for this situation we say that P the payment made to Mahesh is function of hours put or it is dependent on hours put so this is the function definition wherein you get only one and only one unique dependent variable for every value of independent variable here so the definition of function is a function is a pairing between independent variable and dependent variable so that each independent variable produces exactly one dependent variable if we have to show this by a graph then remember that independent variable will always be on x-axis 
so we'll put hours here and dependent variable will always be on y axis which is payment in rupees for zero hours there was no payment for one hour there is a hundred so we'll say one so what you see is for one hour rupees hundred for two hours rupees one fifty for two hours rupees two hundred etc and for five hours it is five hundred rupees so you have drawn a graph and you can put as many number of hours Mahesh can coach for as many number of hours and his payment will keep increasing therefore this is called linear function because it keeps on going up the line will keep going up depending on Mahesh's number of hours put for training now let us take another example suppose Ram is a barber and he cuts hair he earns like this one day he has not put anything so he's got zero rupees another day one hour he got 80 second day he put two hours and got 160 rupees third day again two hours 200 maybe he has cut more here more people have come to him in the same number of two hours he has cut more uh, here so he get 200 rupees and next day for three hours he get 240 and finally last day he works very hard for four hours and gets 320 now if I were to plot this now in a graph you will see something very unique so in this case you will see something like this for 0 hours 0 for 1 hour 80 but for 2 hours you will see 2 values 160 and 200 so suddenly you will see that for one independent variable in this case there are 2 values so if you see this carefully then you will say that this is not a function because for one independent variable which is ours we are getting two dependent variables this thing should never happen that means if in any situation if you have a graph between independent and dependent variable and if you draw a line then this line if it is to be a function should cut exactly at one point here it will cut at two points therefore this kind of data is not a function